Hi everybody, this is Boss Boy. This is Scorpio 69. Hi guys. And, and we're going to be cooking cheeseburgers and french fries. It's right on point. Hope you guys like it. And subscribe. Yeah. So we're going to be cooking this recipe for you. This is our first cooking video together. I hope you guys really enjoy it. So we'll get right to it. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have our, we have our ingredients here that we're using. We're gonna use this nice big ground beef here. We're gonna use this. We're gonna use some garlic salt here. A little bit of Italian seasonings here. All these other good stuff here going on. We're gonna use a little bit of this. So. All right. So here we go. So what we're gonna do is. Open, open the hamburger. Open this here. Put it in the bowl right here. Put some in the bowl. Put some in Put some in Yeah. As you can see, we have Boss Boy over here helping as well. He's putting in some ingredients the hamburger in the bowl right here and i'm doing the rest right here and right here there we go we're gonna go ahead and another one all right now i'm gonna do the rest right here <laughs> All right, now put this to the side over here. Let's put that over here. Put that in there. Now, as you can see, we have our ground beef right here. Now, what we're going to do is season these babies up some here. Let's get this off of the table and put it in the garbage here. Got the seasonings right here. We got that. Let's start it off with some good old sugar. salt. Yeah. Gotta put some salt in here. Just a little bit, not too much. Okay, now you see how it looks good. Yum, yum, yum. Now you can put some of the Italian seasoning. Here you go. Here you go, boss boy. You can put the seasonings in there. Got to spread it around here. Okay. Now you're going to mix this up here. What I also sometimes like to do is put some cheese in the meat i usually sometimes put shredded parmesan cheese in here or i put um just a little bit of this is a little bit of garlic salt here and we'll use this a little bit here i don't like garlicky burgers too much we already put salt from the salt itself in there so we don't need that so i'll mix this up a little bit right here mix it up really good no so i don't like to play around with um you know the meat that you have to prepare too much. Wait, wait, wait there. Let me go get some paper towels here. Okay, put that there. Put some black pepper in here. Put some missing. Okay, well, boss boys gonna put some more season in there. Okay, 
Is there a can? Put some of this in there. Yeah. Spread it around, sprinkle it around. Okay. Right around here. Now we're gonna put some. I know this may sound weird, but I like to have some ham seasoning in here. Give it a different flavor, you guys can see. Put a little bit here in here. Just put it around. Oh my gosh, what are you? You put in ham and, well, ham, hamburger. You can get it. Ham, hamburger. Well, it's gonna be all baked in when you taste it anyway. When it's when it's all baked in, it's all tasted. You won't even probably taste it that much. So let's mix this up here. Let's mix this up here. Okay. Let's get a little bit. What I also like to do also is put a little bit of breadcrumbs. In, I use the Progresso, the breadcrumbs, to give it an extra, like a little bit of a crunch, kind of sorta. So, a little bit in there. Actually, let me get like a spoon or something. Oh, I have a fork right here. So I have. Let me use. Let me use this. Going to use this right here to mix it up some to get it really good and stirred in here. Make sure you get it in here. Let's put a little bit more in here. A little bit more in here. Like I told you guys before, I also like doing, putting some cheese in here too. You know, some really good um, shredded cheese. Some mozzarella cheese. I usually get the, um, the grated Parmesan cheese and I put it in the meat. Crumbs here. I don't like using the egg or you know, any of that other stuff. I'm, I'm not really a big fan of doing that. See boss boy stirring it up. Alright, let me help you out here. guys so this is just the mixture that I have I have the seasons in here sometimes I put liquid liquid smoke in here too so you can have that nice smoky flavor like you would like you was cooking at a barbecue you can have some lemon smoke in here you can have some barbecue sauce in here whatever your preferred is but right as of now we're going to keep this to marinate in the refrigerator for maybe about like an hour so the seasons and everything can really blend inside the meat and then I'm going to come back to y'all with the cooking itself, okay? Stay tuned, guys. Yeah, guys, so we're back. So as you can see, the meat has been marinated for about an hour. And we're about to start making our patties right now, okay? So this is the plate that we're going to put the, we're gonna, this is the, plate that we're gonna put the patties on here, okay? Come on, boss boy. Let's go.
Now, it's your choice if you like big burgers, small burgers, sliders, you know, it's entirely up to your choice of what you want. Me, I like mine's kind of medium size, enough to get a good bite in. I also have a special way that I usually do my burgers, but I'll let that, I'll put it right here for now. I, I, I'll let that, see, this is Boys Boys Burger. See Boss Boys Burger? That's Boss Boys Burger. Now, let me show you mine. Wait, Boss Boys. Now, I remember my mother, when she used to fix burgers for us all the time, she used to, wait, Boss Boy. My mother, when she used to fix burgers for us, I used to be in the room playing video games. And this is all I heard. I said, uh oh, somebody getting an ass beat. And I used to go in the kitchen, and it used to be my mother cooking burgers. I'm like, wow. But they came out so juicy and delicious at the same time. So, this is, you don't have to worry about it being perfect or nothing like that because, you know, it's all going to come together in the pan anyway. You know, I don't fry pan my burgers. I put them in the oven to bake because to me, I think they come out healthier. Yeah, guys. So, um, so as we, as I was saying before, you have Boss Burgers, Boss, Boss, Boss Baby, Boss Boys Burger here. Yeah, my burger here. Let's try to do one more. Here, here. Come on. Do one more here. So. You can also make meatballs if you like, you know. Or you can do meatballs, you can do sliders, you can do you know, mini burgers if you like. You know, like this one, I'm gonna make a little bit smaller. So I make this one a little bit smaller. And as I was saying before, guys, you know, you can put for an extra kick, you can also put, um, let me go wash my hand. You can put for an extra kick, you can put some Parmesan, some grated Parmesan cheese in it, you know, whatever you prefer. I prefer like breadcrumbs. If you have 4C or progresso breadcrumbs, it's good too. Because you know sometimes they have cheese in the breadcrumbs already. So that is a definite as well. So as you can see, this is washing my hands here, guys. I have the stove actually on 400 just to heat it up. So the so the oven is being heated up. So as now the oven is nice and hot, I'm going to turn it down to 350 because you don't want them burnt. Nobody likes burnt burgers. Lord knows I don't. Now what I'm gonna do, guys, is take some canola oil and put it in this pan right here. All right. Take some canola oil and I just put it in the pan here. Not too much, just enough to coat so it doesn't stick. Alright? Now we want to move this around like this, just like that here. Yeah. Mm hmm. You're going to want it, the whole bottom of the pan covered. You know what's also good, guys, is a cast iron, a cast iron pan too, because it gives it that nice crunch. You know, cast iron pans are, you can't go wrong with cast iron pans. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the burgers here, and I'm going to lay them in a pan, like this here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. We have room actually for one more, so let me do one more here. That's balls boys right here. So we have room for one more to put right in the middle. So let me break another one right here real quick. We put it in the middle. <clears throat> okay. 
I'm very domestic with long nails. Yes, I have long nails, but I'm very domestic. I cook, clean, wash. I do everything. Mop, sew, sweep, dust, laundry, scrub. You name it, I can do it with my hands. See? Yeah. Just flatten out just like this a little bit. So you have about this size burger right here. So, so they say it doesn't go. This goes a little bit over the palm of your hand. My hands are small. Palm of my hand. As you can see, I put it here. And I put it right in the center, right here. Now, as this cooks, I think what I, what mostly happens sometimes is when burgers cook. For me, <clears throat> cooking them in the oven and not on the stove top itself. I have a tendency to notice that the burgers, they plump up some. So, they're not like McDonald's burgers where it's all flat, looking like a whale sat, sat on the hamburger. So, you put it right here. Right here. Right. Right. Now, I'm going to put this in the oven, guys. As you can see. I'm going to put this in the oven. Sorry. For approximately about an hour but that's it that's turning within it as well so I always nurse I always tend to nurse my um I hand my, my hamburgers so we have other we have more here but I'm just gonna put it up for now because we don't need to cook all of it so yeah guys I will show you the finishing product as I take it out as I take it out the oven so you can so I can show you the next steps that I'm going to do um so stay tuned okay Hey guys, so okay, so now let's take out, let's check on the burgers and see how the burgers are doing. Ooh, it's hot. Wow, look at these babies. See, like I told you before, they, they're gonna puff up. They're puffing up. Like, they're expanding. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is flip them. I'm not going to press down on them because if you press down on them, it takes out all the juices. So I'm just going to flip them. See how they're nice and golden brown. Got the little ones here. Put these here. And I'm only going to flip them one time. Because if you keep flipping them on like that, it's not, you know, it's going to be all burnt and hard and crusty. So I'm just going to turn them over here like this. You see how? Now we're going to put these back in the oven. We're going to put these back in the oven. Until this side gets nice and brown. Like these are sort of all the side. I'm going to put this back in the oven here right now. Put it back in the oven. Let's check the other ones. Mmm, mmm. Burgers, burgers, burgers. All right. Let's just toss these over here. Let's turn these two. Yeah, here we go. Toss these babies. Turn these babies. Oh, God. I kind of like my burgers plump. It fills you up more. And that way you can only have one. Have one burger. Yeah. Put this back in here. Okay guys, so there you have it. I just finished flipping the burgers on the other side. They're almost done. The french fries are already inside the oven. I cook them towards mostly the end of the meal because I don't like them hard and cold on the side of my meal. But when I take them out again, I'm going to show you guys how I put the cheese and the finishing touches on it along with the french fries. Okay guys, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm back. So I'm sure the burgers are done right now. I'm going to take them out, put these bad boys with some cheese on it, and they're good to go. Yep, just like I thought. See, fries are done. See, fries are done. Now, 
this out here. Yeah, doggy. Yes. Nice. What I'm going to do right now is get some cheese. Get some cheese here. I got some Zangeno extra sharp cheddar cheese here. So I'm going to put that on top of the burger. So now make sure the burgers are still nice and juicy, which they are. We're going to put the cheese on top. Right here. I'm going to open them up here. So I'm going to put it on the top here, guys, as you can see here. One. Um, now being that those are the smallest ones, I'm going to break it up because I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm going to break it up and put it like they do in White Castle, like squares. Okay. I like my burgers really cheesy, guys. So I will put one and one like this on top of it. Alright. Not that one too much because put this one more right here, one more right there. I'm gonna put this one in the oven. Then I'm gonna take out the other ones. Actually, while that's going in there, I should. If you like your bread toasted, then that's good too. But let me put this in here for now, and then take out the other one. Put that right in here. Then you take out the other one, guys. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, those are done too. So let's put some cheese on top of those as well. Let's do it like that. Put that right there. There. Let's move this around actually. This Let's move this around here. That there. That there. There we go. Let's put that one there. You know what else I like to do, guys? I like to put, actually, some, um, you ever made chili cheese fries? How you get, you get some french fries, you put some chili, some ground beef, some cheese whiz, and you make yourself some good as chili cheese fries. Now, for me, I like my, to my buns toasted, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do just put this right here and put my hamburger buns here on top to get toasted <clears throat> for like a minute or so because the oven's already hot. You just want them toasted. You don't want them burnt. So we're going to put them just like this here so. There we go. And toast it just like this. We've got the bottoms at the tops. See? Right here. Bottom. Now, I'm going to put this in the oven. And it's going to toast a little bit. Oh, wow. Actually, it's actually done. Alright, so we're going to give those a couple of minutes, guys. So let the cheese melt. And then I'm going to put it the buns in the oven and let it toast and then I'll show you guys the finishing product after okay stay tuned guys all right guys so I'm about to take out the burgers right now so y'all can see how good and delicious it looks let's put those here for now let's take out these burgers here be prepared to have your mouth water Ooh, 
doggy. Look at this, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. Do you see that? <clears throat> I'm gonna take out the other one. There, no mistakes. See this, ladies and gentlemen? Mmm. Doesn't that look good? I mean, if you're not a cheese person, you can always have a regular hamburger. If you want, let me put this. The bun. I'm gonna put the um, buns in the oven. And you wanna have those? go for like a minute <clears throat> and I will get back to y'all when the finishing product is done. Alright guys, so this is what we're going to do now. I'm going to take, I have the buns in the oven. I'm about to take them out right now because they definitely are toasted by now. You don't want them, you do not want them burnt. I repeat, you do not want them burnt. Just toasted, just, yeah boy, just toasted like that. Now, what I like on my burger is ketchup not ketchup I can go with plain or regular um, mayonnaise but I'm cutting down on I'm doing cutting so there will be no mayonnaise on this burger so what I'm gonna do right now is going to take my plate I'm going to take my bottom bun like right here as you see it's nice and toasted I'm going to lay one of the burgers, see, right there. I mean, you could drain your burgers if you want, but I like the grease full effect. I know that's probably sound gross, but for me, it tastes really good. <clears throat> it all depends on your preference, guys. Like I said, your preference is your preference. For me, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my burger right here. Just going to lift it up right now. Let the juices and everything drain off of it. Right here. And I'm going to lay it right on the burger. I'm going to put my top right here on the burger. And I'm going to lay that right here, guys. Here for now. And I'm going to get my um, french fries out here right now. I'll get my french fries out here right now, guys. And I'm going to lay a couple french fries on the side of the burger. Now, let me get um, something for that. Okay. So, I'm lay a couple french fries here right on the side of the burger. have your french fries and your burger just put a little bit of salt on the fries here just a little bit here so there you have it guys you have your burger and you have your french fries you can top your fries off with some ketchup if you like ketchup some people like mustard on their burger like I said before I prefer mayonnaise but if you don't have mayonnaise that's fine too but I have mayonnaise but I'm just cutting so you have your burgers and your french fries here guys as you can see it's delicious it, it tastes i'm sure even more delicious guys um so i would like to thank you guys for watching this cooking video that i have be sure to like subscribe and share this video i have other cooking videos and other recipes that i am going to share with you guys that i do really and really enjoy cooking um but yeah that's all I have for you tonight, guys. Thank you. Have a blessed night. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all your support, your love. I really appreciate it. This is your girl, Sexy Scorpio 69, saying peace. Peace. Thanks for watching.